for the CONCACAF Women's Under-20 Championship third place match between Canada and Costa Rica. Hello, family. I'm James Hadnot. Thank you so much for joining us for this important matchup here as both of these teams are looking to make it to the World Cup. Only one will earn a berth here in this beautiful day. 86 degrees, a bit heated, but what would you expect for such a blistering matchup between these two sides? And of course, here's how things stack up for Canada, making their way through the group stage as the second team. And for Canada, they're a team that has played extremely well throughout this tournament, just ran into a buzzsaw of Mexico and the United States. They had Mexico on their heels in the semifinal, but fell two to one to the Mexican side. And on the flip side for Costa Rica, a side that played extremely well in their initial matchup versus Panama earlier in this tournament in the group stage they won seven to three and then had another big time win over the dominican republic three one but they were down by mexico and fell to the united states in the semifinals themselves so both of these sides are excited about this opportunity because they still have a chance to make the world cup but they have to leave the pitch this afternoon as victors we'll have more including our handshakes the national anthems and the kick here from santo domingo dominican republic that's upcoming here on the concacaf women's under 20 championships third place match
match time here in Santo Domingo. The third place match between Costa Rica and Canada. On the line, a spot in the World Cup. And here's the starting lineup for Canada, coached by Cindy Tai. And of course, Olivia Smith, the captain, the leading goal scorer. Everything goes through her for this Canada side. And for Canada, played extremely well coming in to this match and just fell to Mexico. Needed to keep that lead, but on their side is their record. They currently are 4 0 and 1 all time versus Costa Rica. Here are your officials. Odette Hamilton will lead things for this four woman crew. You can see after the coin toss. Olivia Smith and Kevin Heman as the captains. Now to the VAR room we go. Denion Harchman and Selvin Brown manning things. Our video assistant referees on the day. And here's the Costa Rica starting 11. Coached by Patricia Aguilar. Already discussed him and Jimenez, who is the captain for this side. But Sheikha Scott has played well beyond her years in this tournament. Five goals to be exact, a hat trick in the opener, the lone goal against the United States in the semifinals. And for Scott, she plays with a lot of passion and also plays very free. We saw it after her third goal in the opener versus Panama, excuse me, in the opener versus Puerto Rico. The dance that she did after scoring, just showing that as much as you might feel some pressure in these types of matchups with what's on the line, have to play with the joy that comes with playing the beautiful game. And there is a lot to be excited about for both of these teams. A chance to play in the World Cup for Canada and for Costa Rica. Canada wearing the red tops and red bottoms. Costa Rica wearing the white tops and white bottoms. The whistle's blown and we begin things here at Felix Sanchez Stadium in the third place match in the CONCACAF Women's Under 20 Championships. Quickly, Costa Rica moving forward. Fonseca works back to Monterita. Ball's tipped out. Costa Rica quickly has a corner early on. Mentioned head coach for Canada, Cindy Tai. Canada as a team finished third last season in the CONCACAF Championships. Marion Solano. A quick corner. Solano has it back. Pumps it in. Racino takes the swipe at it, but could not put it on frame. So Faith Benwick plays it forward off the goal kick. Scott slips it forward, but too heavy of a touch. Marion Solano was the intended target. And you can see early on, Costa Rica has a pep in their step. Costa Rica has played well in third place matches in their history. They are 4-1 all time in CONCACAF Championship third place matches. Canada on the ball for the first time. This is Ote. Matarita for Costa Rica can't slip it forward. Smith. 
Once again, taken away by the Costa Rican side. And here's the head coach, Patricia Aguilar for Costa Rica. Her side scoring goals early on in this tournament, but as the competition started to grow, still found goals. 3-1 versus Dominican Republic. This ball, a little dangerous. And an excellent tackle by Solano. You see Renee Watson had a bit of space, but Solano, who had to be perfect in the box, got all ball. Now Watson. She'll be attending Michigan State in the fall. Prepares to send in this corner. And again, Rosa Malouf trying to find the space. Cross comes in on the outside of the box. Tracked down by McBride. Lofts it forward. But Scott wins it for Costa Rica. Solano, big ball forward. Yoslin Fonseca won't win the race of the ball. And Claire Logan will keep it in for Canada. Excellent defense, however, by Ashley Gonzalez. Rosa Malouf. Forward. Coming back across to Olivia Smith. Looking for an opportunity. It's blocked away. And Malouf heads it over everyone in the end, out for a goal kick. Excellent aggression there for Canada. And you see how quickly things can change for this Canadian side. Malouf is a target when it comes to scoring. Despite having no goals in this tournament, played with the U-17s last year and had six goals at the U-17 CONCACAF Championships. Also was a part of the U-17s that played in the World Cup. So expect to hear her name often. She's hungry for her final opportunity to score a goal in these U-20 Championships. Watson. Malouf paid pass, but the ball's taken away by Costa Rica. Quickly retrieved back by Canada. As we enter into the seventh minute of action, Canada and Costa Rica here in the third place match, the Women's U-20 CONCACAF Championships. Both sides were the second team out of their group. Took on the respective first teams in the United States and Mexico. Canada fell to Mexico, and Costa Rica fell to the United States. As Genesis Perez falls on that shot. Olivia Smith menaced, mentioned her as the orchestrator, and Oriana Jordé. Nice attempt, but right at Genesis Perez, who will be attending the University of Central Florida next season. Perez coming off a state championship in the state of Florida at Montverde.
Matarita finds Scott. Ball centered, flipped across. Shot comes in right at Finwick. And again, Valentina Rivera had the opportunity. Both shots that have been on frame for either team have been right at the goalkeeper. Neither Finwick nor Perez have been challenged here through the first eight minutes of action. Rivera can't locate a teammate. McBride back to Claire Logan. Logan, who plays for Vancouver Whitecaps program, turns it over. Solano slips it out to Fonseca. Keeps possession. But her cutback pass for Scott was cleared away. Solano earns the foul. Watson and Maloof had her surrounded, but Solano slithering past now has a free kick for Costa Rica. Tenth minute, second set piece of the match for Costa Rica. A Finwick electing to have a two-woman wall in front of Sheikha Scott's leading goal scorer for Costa Rica here in this tournament. Ball is free, and Finwick chested away. Jocelyn Fonseca was looming inside the six. She had the position in front of Fenwick. Now a throw in deep in the Canadian end. One by Canada. Tracking back to the ball was Keishlin Mena for Costa Rica. And her aggressive play on defense earns another free kick. Rosino booms it near the box. Solano tries to curl one, but not enough bend on that attempt. But early on, Costa Rica has been the better side. Canada has had the one opportunity, but Costa Rica's press has really not allowed for Canada to make their way forward. Just as I say that, space opening up. A throw in now coming in the Costa Rican side of the field for Canada. Watson, ball back out for a throw. Renee Watson has the one goal in the tournament. 4-0 win versus Jamaica. Behind. 
Ball still playable. And Jordé attempts the cross, but Genesis Perez vacuums it in. This is Canada's ninth time outside of the group stage in the CONCACAF Championships. Maloof. Misfires on her cross attempt. Canada has been in third place match three times, but the only win was last year. That made it to the final five times, two wins, three runner-ups. Here in the third place match, Things have not always been bright for Canada. Trying to rewrite history against Costa Rica. Long ball, Matarita making haste and earns her team a throw in. On the flip side for Costa Rica, their best finish in any CONCACAF championship has been third place. They've finished third place four times. Third place finish in this tournament would mean a spot in the World Cup. Ella McBride sends that out for Canada. Another throw in for Costa Rica. Gonzalez right to Matarita. But Olivia Smith, the captain, takes the ball away and airmails it out of harm's way. Rivera turns it over. Hernandez Gray. Marcancini finds Olivia Smith, goes into a different gear. Now Maloof. Attempts the cross, Perez punches it away, still free, yeah! and a goal! Ella Ote opens up the scoring for Canada. 1-0. And that was all started in the back by Zoe Marcancini, finding Olivia Smith. Unselfish play here from Jordi Malouf. We mentioned she's looking for her first goal of the tournament, doesn't find it, but the ball finds Ella Ote. And Canada takes a 1-0 lead on top of Costa Rica here in the third place match. Play resumes, and Costa Rica now down by a goal. They found themselves down in their last three matches now, going back to the group stage when they fell 3-0 to Mexico and 2-1 to the United States in the semifinal. All time, Canada is now, as now the ball's left. Fonseca can't tie things up. Just a poor giveaway. Unlike Claire Logan, Fonseca had a golden opportunity to knot this match up. Put the ball off to the left side. And Faith Finwick, the goalkeeper, who will be attending Gonzaga next season, needing a bit of attention. So working on her left leg, Gives us a chance to finish the point on the goal scoring differential for Costa Rica and Canada all time.
Canada has now scored 13 goals against Costa Rica in CONCACAF Championships play. And Costa Rica has scored just two, so. A large undertaking if Costa Rica wants to not only tie this match, but go ahead. Benwick stretching things out. Second goalkeeper for Canada. Noel Henning also have Coralie Lawyer. And you can see right there, Fenwick is walking towards the ball and just had to stop. But trying to keep her mobility. Gives the thumbs up. Looks like she will continue. So to reset here in the 19th minute, Canada takes the lead on the Ella Ote goal. And right now has the spots in the World Cup. If this scoreline was to hold, Matarita with the takeaway. Sheikha Scott. Blocked away by Finwick. And the leg looking to be just fine. Diving to her right. Finwick makes the stop on Scott, who is always opportunistic when it comes to scoring. Now. Stands behind this corner kick. Another short corner. Scott flips it in over everyone. And Priscilla Rodriguez can't track it down. Ball lost to Marion Solano in Costa Rica. She sends it in. And Solano's ball bounces right in front and taken in by Fenwick. Costa Rica coming into this match was plus two goal differential in this tournament specifically. So they have not struggled in regards to scoring goals. Seven in their first match. This ball is left. What a move for Jordi to keep it. Genesis Perez ends up with it for Costa Rica. Fernandez Gray pushed from behind. That's a foul. Priscilla Rodriguez was beat. And Hernandez Gray trying to walk it off. Felt she had a lot more room to operate. This is Claire Logan to Ella McBride. Smith. Jocelyn Brasino in a battle inside the box with Naya Rose. And the foul coming on Rose. Tracks that down to ensure no corner comes. Costa Rica has had three corners in this match already. They've played them all short. A 
they haven't created a true chance. From the corner spot, that is. Shaka Scott and Yasin Fonseca have had two great chances shooting. Just haven't found the back of the net. Scott stays on the ball. Works back to Mena. Racino. Big reversal. Rodriguez. Extra pass out to Marion Solano. The curler is perfect. What a shot. And Costa Rica ties things up. Marion Solano, eyes up and just sends in a laser around Faith Fenwick. Nothing she could do about that. Her favorite left foot and lofts it right over the goalkeeper to tie things up here in this third place match. Costa Rica's defense really impacting this match up to this point. Their pressure has made things difficult for Canada. Canada, one opportunity that they had turned into a bit of magic as Rosa Malouf took her shot and hit off the goalkeeper Perez because of its pace and Ella Ote opportunistic sent it home, but you see the quality from Costa Rica. Watson quickly sends it in to Jordi. Her first touch does her in. Matarita makes a move. Runs into a bit of trouble. And the ball sent out by Canada. One thing Veronica Matarita has is the skill to make players miss. We've seen that in multiple matches here in these CONCACAF championships. And it was evident in her goal in the group stage opener. Rodriguez, Scott, now ball out. Cross comes in, and it's cleared away by Zoa Marcassini. Tension rising now for Canada, who took the lead in this match. But the momentum is palpable for Costa Rica. Corner one. Marion Solano, who has the goal, already shown her pinpoint accuracy when she puts her boot through it. Ball levitates up. No Olympico on this attempt from the corner spot. Faith Finwick. Reels it in. Marcassini quickly forward. Olivia Smith continues in possession. Smith out wide to Jordi. Has the space and has the go ahead. How quickly things can change. Florian Jordi. And once again, the assist will go to Olivia Smith. 
because of how her play starts. Not giving up as she was being grabbed from behind. And then Florian Jordi. Clinical with her finish. And early on, mentioned how the press for Costa Rica had been working, but in both instances for Canada, when they've scored their goals, it's been Zoe Marcassini breaking a line on her own from her defensive spot finding Olivia Smith, who would not be denied in regards to gaining her space. And then a shot coming on the back end of a pass. And for Smith, who has an assist now in this match, Renee Watson finds Jordi. Now Olivia Smith loses out on the ball. But Canada suddenly with a little energy here. Big ball, and the blast is blocked by Genesis Perez. But Geneva Hernandez Gray looking for a goal on that attempt. And it's amazing what a goal does to a team. It seemed like the momentum was well in favor of Costa Rica after scoring the game tying goal. And just as quickly, Canada has an energy boost after they go ahead for the second time here in this match. Logan. Back to Finwick, who suffered an injury earlier in this match, but looks to be okay. And playing through it here in this CONCACAF Championships third place match. Smith wants it back. But the ball comes through, and a clearance of necessary proportion by the captain, Jimena Jimenez. Naya Rose and Olivia Smith inside the 18. A push from behind by Marcassini as the Austin Fonseca ends up on the grass. We'll take her time to get up. And Patricia Aguilar will come out and start handing out some water. A hydration break here in the 31st minute on an 86 degree day here in the Dominican Republic. Hydration necessary for these young women. And we've already had a fantastic match up to this point. Still plenty of time for Costa Rica to potentially tie this match back up. But Canada playing with a lot of energy after scoring their second goal of the day. For those just joining us, here's how things have gone down up to this point. Early on, Costa Rica had two chances that they could not finish. And here are the goals. Maloof missing, but Ella Ote not missing on her rebound shot. And again, you see Olivia Smith in the action. Florian Jordi, two touches and tickles the twine with the second goal for Canada. Costa Rica did get one back in between those two goals. It was a spectacular shot from Marion Solano. Inside the 18, eyes up and curled it off her left foot right around the outstretched arm of Faith Benwick. And that's where we stand. Canada leads 2-1. At the conclusion of our cooling break, Jacob Scott sends it out wide to Valentina Rivera. Rodriguez. Gonzalez. Ball still free. And 
now it will come back for a foul. Costa Rica has struggled all time versus Canada. One win, no draws, and four losses. The last time these two teams met was in 2018 in the group stage. Canada won that match 3-1. Olivia Smith takes over in possession here. One move. Has options on either side. Smith is taken down. And she is still on the grass. But you just see her ability and her reckless abandon. She had a player on her left, two players on her right, but decided to take it on her own. And here it is again, Smith. Very close to being inside the box. And they're checking the foul for a penalty. Having to make a decision on where the penalty, excuse me, where the foul was committed. It looked as if she had just made the step inside the box when Brasino made the tackle. Ninon Parchment. And the decision is confirmed. A penalty upcoming for Canada with the chance to double their lead here in the first half. So the final adjudication. Odette Hamilton discussing things with Genesis Perez. And the captain for Canada, Olivia Smith, leading goal scorer, already has three goals in this tournament. Smith sends it wide. Costa Rica still with life here in this first half. And Smith comes to a halt and as she puts her foot through it. Could not keep it on frame and knew it immediately. So a major moment here in this first half for both sides. Canada has shown their ability to break lines Costa Rica has to sure things up defensively in the middle of the field. But have an opportunity to do that down one goal and not down two. Collision on the back end of that foul between Shaka Scott and Renee Watson. Play had come to a close. Watson just running into Scott. Veronica Matarita, the player that is called for the foul. And a free kick coming for Canada. Renee Watson stands behind it. And again, Odette Hamilton having a conversation with Scott for what happened after the foul. Looks like we might be checking for the extracurricular activity. 
from Shaka Scott. And so here it is again, Watson making the turn and Scott just bumps into her trying to get the ball. Watson was falling again after the foul and nothing malicious in that. Excellent adjudication by the officials. Watson whips it in. Rosino first to it for Costa Rica. Now with Zoe Marcassini. Attempts to cross off her own. Genesis Perez picks things up. Solano finds Rodriguez all the way across to Valentina Rivera. Matarita makes the turn and she's fouled by Renee Watson. And Watson shown a yellow card here in the 39th minute. Matarita had beat her and you can see She's tripped on that touch line. So yellow card in the 39th minute for Renee Watson. And that's something to look out for for the rest of this match. Left back on a yellow with a player of Matarita's character and profile. On that side, Racino booms it in. Not dangerous for Canada, and a throwing up coming for Costa Rica. Solano has it taken away. And Canada trying to counter Florian Jordi. Now to Olivia Smith. Five minutes left in this first half plus stoppage time. And the second half to potentially atone for her missed penalty. Ella Ote, aggressive, on the end line, runs out of real estate. The first goal score for Canada. The game winning goal in the grips of Florian Jordi. That goal coming in the 27th minutes of this first half. Again, a bit of frustration. Both players having the ability to go after this ball and the foul being called on Jordi. On the restart, Valentina Rivera to Matarita, back to Rivera. Matarita makes her way forward. And Claire Logan comes together with Veronica Matarita, and we will have a stoppage. Matarita is fine. Here it is again. We mentioned her dribbling ability. Stops on a dime, and Logan clips her. And this is going to be a difficult pill to swallow if nothing comes of it. And yes, VAR being utilized once again. Monterita is a slippery player. She has all the tricks. And right there, 
Might have been too much for Claire Logan. So as the discussion continues, have to think about now if a penalty is given, the missed opportunity for Canada. A chance for Canada to go up 3-1. And now Odette Hamilton will check things out. But a bit of a recap now. Canada goes up in this match early on off the goal from Ella Ote. Costa Rica comes back, scores a goal of their own by Marion Solano. Then Canada retakes the lead. Olivia Smith had a chance to make it 3-1. And now you see Veronica Matarita was changing her course. Claire Logan, despite having her hands up, does get a piece of the leg. And can't say with certainty, except for now, you can say with certainty that a penalty was deserved and now a penalty earned for Costa Rica. So here it is again, Veronica Matarita inside the box. Have to be pristine if you're gonna make a tackle. And Claire Logan was not. And who would you expect to take this penalty but the leading goal scorer in the tournament for Costa Rica. Shaka Scott tied for the golden boot right now with five goals. Maddie okay, Darlene for the United States also has five goals to match that total. But a chance to go ahead in the Golden Boot race and tie things up for Costa Rica. A big moment here on the back end of the first half in this third place match. Shaka Scott sends it in. <laughs> Jubilation for Costa Rica. We are tied two apiece here in the third place match. Scott steps up, not a lot of pace, but precisely puts it into the back of the net. We are tied two apiece. <laughs> Olivia Smith for Canada. Can't send it through. Off the drop ball, Olivia Smith sends it over everyone. Genesis Perez can't control it, and the ball is out for corner kick. So a rare mistake from Perez. A minimum of six minutes of stoppage time here in this first half, so still a lot to handle. Matarita tries to bring it down, but too heavy as she attempted to control it.
Rose back to Renee Watson. Slips pass, Scott. And a foul for Shaka Scott. And she's shown a yellow card. So that's another important piece of this first half. Scott, who is aggressive in defense as she is on the offensive end, now has to be careful for the remainder of the match. Sitting on the yellow. Marcassini over everyone. Watson whips it wide. And then in the end, she was offside. And you can see well offside was Renee Watson and Rosa Maloof. Headed on by Scott Finwick. Wins the race to the ball as Yoslin Fonseca was looming. McBride for Canada. Marcassini to Olivia Smith. Ball back with the red and white. Turning is Rose. Extra ball in. Olivia Smith blocked away by the captain for Costa Rica, Jimena Jimenez. D will take this one. Sent in. Still free. And Rosa Maloof gets a boot to it, but right into the arms of Genesis Perez. Free kick now on the back end for Costa Rica. Perez sent the ball forward. Fonseca beat her defender. As we enter into our sixth minute of stoppage time, a last gasp now for Costa Rica. Jocelyn Brasino behind it. Brasino goes for goal and scores! Exemplary from Jocelyn Brasino. Costa Rica takes the lead 3-2. What a hit from Jocelyn Brasino. It was on target the entire time, got on to Faith Fenwick before she knew it, and because of the pace, she couldn't do anything with it. Fireworks to end the first half for Costa Rica as they take the lead here in this third place match. Your halftime score, three, two, Costa Rica leads with a spot in the World Cup on the line.
Welcome back to Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic for the CONCACAF Women's Under-20 Championships third place match. On the line, a spot in the World Cup. We saw a wonderful first half, and the second half is sure to live up to the billing as well. James Haddon, I'm with you. Thank you so much for joining us for this important matchup. And Costa Rica leads 3-2. Costa Rica in the white tops and white bottoms. Canada in the red tops and red bottoms. And Costa Rica looking for its first ever win against Canada in CONCACAF championships play. Canada currently has four wins, no losses, and one draw. And Costa Rica with an opportunity not only to stop that losing streak, but also earn a spot in the World Cup. Players into the match for Canada. Annabelle Chukwu, Colin as well. Jada Collin coming in and Kayla Briggs coming out. Is Rosa Malouf, Renee Watson. And Naya Rose. So the importance of the institutions into this match. Annabelle Chukwu is second on this team in goal scored. She has two. Renee Watson, who was on a yellow card, she goes out. Kayla Briggs had the long goal in the semifinals as well. So goal scoring coming off the bench for Canada, as well as making sure they stay with all 11. Costa Rica has gone to these short corner kicks, and that one was almost deadly for Costa Rica with Veronica Monterita right on the end line. Marion Solano has one of the three goals scored by Costa Rica on the day behind this corner. Over the top, headed away initially by Claire Logan. Now, Geneva Hernandez Gray out wide to Kayla Briggs. Defending was Valentina Rivera. Ball across quickly to Hernandez Gray once again. Back to Briggs. Genesis Perez back into that ball in with Olivia Smith behind it for Canada. So you see the institutions already making an impact, whether it's Briggs or Jada Collin. Kayla Briggs also bumping into Marion Solano. You see it here, Solano makes her move. And Briggs a little too handsy with the bump. The goal, that's the difference might be the goal of the entire tournament. Dawson Brasino sent in a free kick from about 50 yards out. Gave her team the lead at the half. Canada has been difficult to stop on the counterattack. But in the buildup, Costa Rica has done well to keep bodies behind the ball. With the one goal lead now, that will be a much easier feat. But you have to expect for Costa Rica to look for some insurance. This ball bounces. Ella Ote was around it for Canada. Briggs 
Turns forward to Hernandez Gray. Into the box she goes. And Keishlin Mena clears it away. But a corner upcoming for Canada. Plenty of time for Canada to find an equalizer. This is the first time they've been down in this match as Annabelle Chukwu and Dawson Brasino jockeying for position in front of Genesis Perez, the goal scorer, excuse me, the goalkeeper. Olivia Smith elevates this ball. Ote. And check that on the back end. That was Zoe Marcassini. Was free on the outside of the six, but could not put it on frame. Olivia Smith has been everything for Canada here in this tournament. Three goals for the rising sophomore at Penn State. And Smith back in 2019 in her native Canada was named Youth National Player of the Year. She's been a consistent member of the national pool. Now Genesis Perez is down inside the six yard box. We already saw on the other side in the first half, Faith Fenwick go down and she stayed in the match. She was grasping at her leg. Now Perez in need of medical attention herself. Genesis Perez, growing up in the state of Florida, attended Montverde Academy, won a state championship with Montverde before coming to these championships, and will take her talents to the University of Central Florida in the fall. Despite giving up the two goals here in this match, has played at a high level throughout the entire tournament. In this match specifically, it's been the counterattack from Canada that has scored the goals. The first goal, Zoe Marcassini from her defensive spot, breaking lines, finding Olivia Smith, then orchestrated things outside the 18-yard box. The eventual goal scorer, Ella Ote. And then similarly, after lines were broken by Zoe Marcassini. One ball to Olivia Smith, the next ball forward to Florian Jordi. And she scored the go-ahead at the time when it was 2-1. But to end the half, Costa Rica scoring two goals. One, 45th plus one, a penalty by Veronica Matarita. And the second one scored by Jocelyn Brasino. Keishlin Mena clears that away with Annabelle Chukwu racing on the left side. Ote locates Olivia Smith. Forward to Jordi. Extra ball to Chukwu. Genesis Perez had that near post locked off. But a corner coming for Canada. Excellent link up play turning into this realistic chance. Shuku didn't have the best angle. Olivia Smith behind this corner. 
Sends it into the box. And Zoe Marcassini once again with an opportunity to attack the ball. But it's out for a goal kick. So that is something that Costa Rica is going to have to get under control. Zoe Marcassini on back-to-back -back chances has been close enough to the ball to be dangerous. She just not been able to put it on frame. Benwick clears it away for Canada. And the ball drops to Hernandez Gray. And down is Ashley Gonzalez. Gonzalez, once again in need of medical attention. And here it is. And that hit her right in the face. And she went down immediately. So no foul of anything was called. It was more of the contact, the ball hitting her right in the face. And now she's taking her time. And the medical staff administering water, just making sure that she is okay physically. Already mentioned the heat at kickoff, 86 degrees, minimal wind, about eight miles per hour. So not much in the cooling department in regards to Mother Nature. chance for Canada to discuss how they plan to tie this match. And Gonzalez looking like she might be able to continue. Scary sight when a player just immediately goes down. So very happy Gonzalez is able to get up and walk off under her own power. The drop ball goes to Canada as we restart play here in the 58th minute. Costa Rica in front 3-2 on top of Canada. Winner of this match will play in the World Cup. The loser will not qualify. Scott. And Ella Ote boxing out Veronica Matarita. Matarita giving her a bit of her own medicine. Now Yoslin Fonseca. As her pass intercepted for a moment. Jimenez finds Gonzalez, who's back on the field. Eastland Mena takes it away. Now the ball in control of Olivia Smith. Sends it forward quickly. Annabelle Chukwu. Once again, in a dangerous space, but could not trouble the goalkeeper. And Olivia Smith and Annabelle Chukwu can be trouble for Canada. They can make things difficult for Costa Rica. You've seen it already. Once again, Smith with space. Elects to work to the center. Hernandez Gray has her shot taken in by Genesis Perez. A 
Excellent technique there by Perez. Sees it the entire way. And cleans things up. An hour in. Priscilla Rodriguez pumps it forward, but is taken away by Claire Logan. Voted by the media as a player to look out for. The official title is Rising Player of the Year. She plays for the Vancouver Whitecaps elite program. Marcassini held from behind and after the initial advantage was played. And now something to discuss. Ella Ote and Josef Fonseca have a collision. So Marcassini not happy with being held from behind. And then Ote comes together with Fonseca. And now Odette Hamilton Showing a yellow card to the bench of Costa Rica. So an assistant coach receiving a yellow card for Costa Rica. Does not look like anything has been administered to Ote for the contact on the back end. And we continue play. Ball wide to Ella McBride. She sends it in. Chukwu. Three in the box. Nothing but space, but could not navigate the ball into the back of the net. Three set pieces here in this half that have really turned into excellent chances for Canada. But still, no change in our halftime score. The goal by Jocelyn Brasino at the end of the half, the difference in this match. Costa Rica with a 3-2 lead over Canada. Marcassini locates Ote. Her pass sent back. As the field is reversed, space opening up. Annabelle Chukwu hits the grass. Nothing coming of that. Play on is the signal from Odette Hamilton. Now Geneva Hernandez Gray. Once again, Costa Rica with enough numbers behind the ball to make a difference. Yosef Fonseca waiting for reinforcements. Now with Ashley Gonzalez. Matarita takes things away from Ote, but she's dispossessed. Now Olivia Smith, excellent idea, looking for Kayla McBride, but could not execute the long pass. Fresh legs for Canada might make a difference as well as multiple players are down on the grass for Costa Rica. Yoslin Fonseca gets up as substitution is preparing.
Marianne Solano is about to leave the game for Sinoff Aguero. And you can see it was noticeable for Solano on that last spell of play. As the ball was rolling out, Solano did not have as much energy as she would have liked to retrieve that ball. Fonseca coming out as well. Tanisha Fonseca comes in for Yoslin. And already we saw Ashton Gonzalez down on the turf after taking that ball right to the face. She is back up after being on the grass for a second time. So the subs once again, Cienoff Aguero for Marion Solano, the first goal scorer for Costa Rica. And Tanisha Fonseca comes on for Yasin Fonseca here in the second half. <laughs> Worth mentioning again, 86 degrees at noon. And as the day wears on, the heat tends to rise. Jordi tips it towards Chukwu, who tracks it down in the corner. But Ashley Gonzalez wins that battle. And it's out for a Canadian throw. Jordi, Ote, sends it in. Out to Geneva Hernandez Gray. Now to Kayla Briggs. And she has nowhere to go. of Olivia Smith, Annabelle Chukwu, and Florian Jordi have been linking up well here. Now Ella McBride joins the action. And it's out for a goal kick. But the link up between Jordi, Smith, and Chukwu, something to watch out for for the final 23 minutes or so of action. Gonzalez will continue. And if you think about Olivia Smith, one goal, one assist last year at Penn State. In the Big Ten, mind you. Jada Collin and Annabelle Chukwu have also been contributors here in this tournament specifically. Gonzalez. Ball tracks all the way to Fenwick. She attempts to reverse field, but Jada Collin can't win the race to the ball. being held up for a substitution. And 
Montserrat Diaz will come on for Ashley Gonzalez. So Gonzalez cannot continue. Ella McBride will leave. And they, uh, Mora Titus makes her way to the pitch. Turnover. Hernandez Gray out wide to Jada Collin. Now Kayla Briggs by one defender, by a second. But Briggs can't barrel her way all the way. Forward looking for the shots. Opportunity for Canada. Olivia Smith slips it to Jordi. Back to Smith. Still on the ball. And a foul on the back end by Zoe Marcassini. So we've had two checks from VAR already in this match in the first half. Penalties were awarded on both checks. Play on is the decision right now. Diaz, big ball over the top. Headed down by Logan. Or D, one touch. After putting the brakes on, locates Annabelle Chukwu. Chukwu. Assessing her options. Takes the shot. And it hits the post. Big attempt from Moritidis. Here's a replay. Chukwu just, just missing. Here in the 73rd minute of this third place match. Canada still searching for the equalizer. Canada all time coming into this match had outscored Costa Rica 12 goals to just two. Costa Rica in this match alone, more goals than in their series history against Canada. Shared what it was going to take after going down by the goal early in this match for Costa Rica to rewrite history. And here in the 74th minutes, have done all they've needed to do. Chukwu. Once again, steady on the ball. Now down for Briggs. Extra pass to Smith. And this match is tied. Olivia Smith running into the post at the end. Her teammates patting her on the back. as she took the worst of it running into the post. 
But Kayla Briggs sends it right across. And Olivia Smith ties this match at three apiece. Four goals on the tournament now for Olivia Smith. As we'll have our hydration break. So just as I mentioned how many goals it had taken for Costa Rica to defeat Canada or have the opportunity to defeat Canada. Now they'll need one more if they'll want to rewrite that history. Canada all time has never had trouble scoring against Costa Rica. Coming into this match, they were plus 10 in goal differential. And at this point, the most important goal of the match, the last one for Canada. The game tying goal by Olivia Smith in the 74th minute. So at this point, about 14 minutes or so plus stoppage time to decide a victor. A victor that is necessary because the winner will move on to the World Cup. Hernandez Gray, lots of pace, finds Jordi right at the goalkeeper. And this has been a seesaw matchup to say the least. Canada taking the lead early. Costa Rica tying things up. Canada retaking the lead. Now Jordi had eyes for Olivia Smith. Now out to Briggs. Ball into the mixer. And out for a corner. Finishing the point. Canada retaking the lead 2-1. Costa Rica scoring two goals in stoppage time to take the lead into half. And our lone change in the score here in the second half, the goal by Olivia Smith. Now a set piece for Canada here in the 78th minute. And a necessary clearance by Sinoff Aguero. Another corner coming for Canada. Shared how set pieces have been something that Canada has excelled at here in the second half. Another big ball all the way out to Marcassini, but she cannot make haste and keep it in on the end line. Goes out off the touch line. And the throw and upcoming for Costa Rica. Logan all the 
way out to Collin. Perez picks this up. Minchin. Canada. Has gotten the better of Costa Rica in their history. This is the first match since 2004 outside of the group stage. Canada won that matchup in 2004. Now the shot stopped by Fenwick. Seeing off Aguero was loose. On the flip side, Briggs back to Hernandez Gray. But not a heavy enough touch to find Briggs. Matarita continues her path. Tripped up. They, uh, Moratidis making contact. And we've already talked about Veronica Matarita. For the challenge, Moritidis is shown a yellow card. So Jocelyn Brasino, who's already scored a goal from a similar distance, don't believe she's going to try to score this one. Ball pumped into the box and headed away. Now a counter opportunity for Canada. Olivia Smith with open space. Smith takes the shot. Olivia Smith with options, called her own number and crushed it a little too high. Once again, Smith finds herself in possession and earns a corner. Costa Rica has not had a corner here in this half. Canada has had plenty. Eighty third minute. Three apiece here in the CONCACAF U-20 women's third place match. Florian Jordi stands behind this corner for Canada. Out swinging ball, Smith. High once again. How many times does Costa Rica want to play with fire before they get burned here on these corner kicks? Aguero sends it forward. Now, Sheikha Scott, six goals on the tournament, finds Veronica Matarita. But she is doubled, and Canada loose once again. Chuku can't slip through two defenders. Out to Jada Collin. Only as far as Kayla Briggs, but she's blocked off by Valentina Rivera.
Mortidis. Had eyes for Ella Ote. But she could not control it. Push in the back. A foul called. And for Mortidis has to be careful. She's on a yellow card. Only one person on a yellow for Costa Rica, and that's Shaka Scott. Geneva Hernandez Gray has been a spark plug in these counterattacks. Sneaky with her speed. The ball out for a Canadian throw. And Scott. Stretched out, and the one player you don't want to see leave the pitch if you're Costa Rica is Scott. Sixth goal scored in this tournament. Chukwu turning all out to Ote. Now Olivia Smith who has a goal in this match. She tied it up. down by Tanisha Fonseca. Here in the second half, Canada, the team that was down at the half, has played very inspired football. They found their equalizer in the 74th minute, but throughout the entire half have been the more dangerous side. For Costa Rica, one bit of magic might do the trick. Canada has been difficult to stop, whether it be in set pieces or in the run of play or on the counter. There's the foul on Jordi. Luciana Gonzalez comes in for Priscilla Rodriguez. Chukwu. And 
Moritidis and Olivia Smith not on the same page as we enter the 90th minute of a 3-3 ball game. Long throw. One by Canada. And a free kick. Now for Canada. Off Aguero ensures that the free kick cannot be taken quickly. Olivia Smith, the captain, curls it over everyone. Eight minutes of stoppage time. Matarita, how much energy does she have left after playing this full 90? Ball lost. Fonseca, 1v1 with Logan by her. Across, free. Not enough power on the shot from Sinaf Aguero. And on the back end, Olivia Smith will be shown a yellow card for her challenge. Becomes important if we were to go to extra time. Captain on captain crime right there, here in stoppage time. Ella Ote with perfect position, watching that the entire way, making it difficult for Aguero to take a true shot. Again, Jocelyn Brasino scored the go-ahead goal at the end of the half from this distance. Brasino attempts to go low this time. Now Chuku. Makes a turn, stays on the ball, and a huge collision. And Olivia Smith will have a con conversation with Odette Hamilton. Excellent refereeing here. Smith, who just picked up the yellow card. If she doesn't have a yellow, probably receives one there. But ensuring that all 11 can finish off this match and not give the advantage where maybe not necessary. And now bodies are flying everywhere as Shaka Scott holding her lower back. So here is the collision running into her teammate and then Ote falling on her and just bodies colliding in a way that you don't usually see, especially on the pitch. And a sight that you do not want to see for health reasons specifically, first and foremost but also for reasons of importance to this team for Costa Rica. So much has transpired here in this match. And now Sheikha Scott being worked on in hopes that she can continue for Costa Rica. Scott looking like she might need to be lifted off this field. Yes, 
And just a sight that you did not want to see. Six goals in the tournament, leading in the Golden Boot race. A goal here in this match. And one of the heartbeats for Costa Rica, now off the field. Canada with the advantage right now, with Scott off the pitch. Jada Collin racing forward. Collin lays it off. Hernandez, Gray on the outside of the netting. Still three minutes left in this necessary of eight and stoppage time. And with the last bit of time for the injury to Scott, have to expect maybe two to three minutes more. Kick up coming for Canada. Marcassini plays it quickly. Locates Olivia Smith. Smith sends it in and Chuku once again. Opportunity after opportunity. Go beckoning for Canada. And mentioning that Costa Rica was playing with a bit of fire. How many opportunities can fall to the wayside for Canada? And now a yellow card being shown to Rivera. Kick now for Canada in the 98th minute. Big ball over the top, and Genesis Perez has to punch it away. So a corner now coming for Canada. Canada has been excellent on corners today in creating chances. Need just one chance and a finish here. Smith. Sends it over Ella Ote, and it's out for a goal kick. And full time here in this third place match. So a break upcoming, and then two 15 minute extra time periods as we search for a victor and the third team from CONCACAF that will play in the World Cup. 90 minutes plus, not enough. And some more soccer upcoming here in the CONCACAF Women's U-20 Championships third place match.
Welcome back to Felix Sanchez Stadium here in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. The CONCACAF U-20 Championships on the women's side, the third place match of high importance. The winner of this match will earn a spot in the World Cup. The loser will not. 90 minutes plus, not enough to decide a victor, which means we have extra time. Things to note, Olivia Smith, the captain for Canada, is on a yellow card. Sheikha Scott, the leading goal scorer for Costa Rica, also on a yellow. Costa Rica starts in possession. White tops, white bottoms taking on Canada in the red tops and red bottoms as we begin extra time in need of a winner to secure a spot in the World Cup. The lone goal of the second half was scored by Olivia Smith off a perfect pass from Kayla Briggs, which tied this match. Veronica Matarita cannot make her way forward. And now mentioned at the top, the heat, 86 degrees at the beginning of the match. A lot of these players for Costa Rica playing with heavy legs, but similarly for Canada. Kayla Briggs, one of the substitutes for Canada, always quick. That's out for a goal kick. Annabelle Chuku and Kayla Briggs were two substitutes that came in for Canada. Chuku has been available for Canada inside the 18. Just has not been able to put one home. And Kayla Briggs had the lone goal in the loss to Mexico. This ball's free. Jordi. Smith trying to circle her way through. That's a foul. done. Aguero out wide. Gonzalez, one of the lone substitutes that have come in for Costa Rica. And that's out. That's Montserrat Diaz, who came on as a substitute in the first match of the group stage and scored a goal. Now Jocelyn Frasino comes racing in, takes a shot, and Faith Finwick Grabs that one. Racino caught Finwick off her line, but Faith Finwick did not mishandle that long attempt like she did Jocelyn Racino's free kick from distance. Now Ella Ote scored the first goal of this match. Sends it forward. Wow. Once again on Canada. Now for Olivia Smith, has to be careful. She's been in the mix multiple times since the end of this match. And again, a bit of a shove. And those things you might be able to get away with when you're not on a yellow, but you're forcing the hand of the referee the more you do that here at this stage of the match. Down. Slipped off to the right. Cleared away by Geneva Hernandez Gray. Yeah, I agree. 
you get to these points of these types of matches, excellence is what's expected, but magic often what's necessary. Matarita with two defenders in front of her. Cannot earn a throw in. Chukwu shows off her strength and pumps the ball long. Olivia Smith will come out for Jamie Peralt. So on the yellow card, playing this entire match. And so Cindy Ty goes to her bench and takes off her captain to bring in Peralt. Briggs. Jordi. Florian Jordi. Sends the cross in, and Peralt patrolling right at the six. Could not put it home. Hernandez Gray back on it for Canada. Jada Collin. Thea Mortitis out wide. Hernandez Gray back across to Peralt. No shot. Once again, Annabelle Chukwu closed to a cross, but not enough power behind her attempt. Seven minutes gone here in our first extra time session. And the foul going on Annabelle Chukwu as she tried to time that bounce. And as we made our way through just about half of this first extra time, Canada has been the more dangerous side. Costa Rica really has not been able to make their way into their own end. Just as I say that, a free kick for Costa Rica. Jocelyn Brasino has shown her ability to score from distance. This, of course, a, a nice distance away. I mentioned that magic was necessary at this point of these types of matches. Racino. Almost pinpoints it across. Do not accept. Don't you duck. Take it. Come on. Come on. And Jocelyn Brasino has excellent ability from these distances. And that didn't miss by much. Now Annabelle Chukwu. Jordi. Right to Chukwu. And Genesis Perez, perfect position, and snatch that right out of the air. The cross attempt. Mortitis. Looking for Briggs. 
Briggs. Off the back heel for a goal kick. Mentioned at the top, Costa Rica's inability to defeat Canada. And Canada would not go away in that second half. Wave after wave of offense, finally finding the goal in the 76th minute to tie things up. And here in this extra time session, have kept the pedal down. The best chances have been Jocelyn Brasino's big booms from distance on free kicks. Canada has had opportunities in the box, out of the box, on set pieces. Logan tracks this down for Canada. Marcasini. Ella Ote. Has it taken away. But Briggs wins it back. Now Chuku! She would not be denied. Chance after chance, this one comes to fruition. And Canada takes a 4-3 lead here in extra time. Kayla Briggs, aggressive in defense. Ella Ote with the perfect cross. And Annabelle Chukwu scores it for Canada. Still, time for Costa Rica. But what a showing from Canada. What resilience. To go down in the fashion that they did at the end of the first half for a player like Olivia Smith her moment was in the second half of this match. This match has been about redemption for Canada. Looking back to the first half, Canada was leading 2-1. Olivia Smith had a chance to make it 3-1 and not necessarily shut the door, but to make things more difficult, to really impact the psyche of Costa Rica. She missed her penalty. Costa Rica scored their penalty and then scored the go-ahead goal to lead at half. In the second half, who redeems themselves? Olivia Smith. She scores the game tying goal in the 76th minute. Similarly, Annabelle Chukwu comes in as a substitute, has chance after chance. She scores the go ahead goal. Now, Costa Rica trying to equalize. But Claire Logan clears things away. Redemption for Logan as well, whose challenge gave Costa Rica their penalty in the first half. But Logan there to close things down. Cassini directing traffic for Canada. She signed to play at Princeton University in the fall. Her favorite athletes, Simone Biles and Serena Williams. And Zoe Marcassini 
has had a lot to say in this match, starting the break on the early goals for Canada. Now Caleb Briggs. after producing the go-ahead assist will make way for Maya Archibald. Archibald, no stranger to international competition. Competed with the U-17s at the World Cup and won the bronze medal. Into Chukwu, makes the turn. Stays on the ball. And play continues. Ends up with Costa Rica. make a deep distance. Scott loses it. And as this ball trickles into the box to Genesis Perez, our minimum of one minute in stoppage time has transpired. And now Canada and Costa Rica will change sides. And we'll have our final 15 minutes of extra time. If Canada finishes this off, they will move on to the World Cup. If Costa Rica can find an equalizer, we will have penalty kicks. What a match here with what's on the line for Canada to take the gut punch at the end of the half off one of the best goals of the tournament to then come in the second half and play with such high intensity, such fire, such aggression, and to find your game tying goal on the flip side for Costa Rica to have the lead taken away from you at the end of the second half. And then now to be down, going into the second extra time session. Have to dig extremely deep. There's a special quote by Gino Oriema, long time coach for the University of Connecticut women's basketball team. National champion many times over. He tells his sides, the best just don't get tired. That's what's necessary at this point in time in these types of matches. Fatigue has to go out the window. You have to find some type of gear. And if you're Costa Rica, you have to find that gear very fast. As we begin the second extra time session in the third place match, Canada with the lead 4-3 off the goal from Annabelle Chukwu in the 101st minute. That goal right now, difference between penalties and Canada going to the World Cup. Right now, Canada has a free kick. Florian Jordi, out swinging ball, down in the box, Peralt. Can't put it on frame. 
Veronica Mazzarita maneuvers forward. And Mazzarita shows off her pace. Too many bodies in her midst. Could not make her way all the way forward. Now Annabelle Chukwu by one defender. And the foul on the backside means that Canada will have a free kick. And you can hear the call from Cindy Tai. The corner is the destination. Samira Roper now comes in for Sheka Scott, who's had a spectacular tournament. Six goals for Scott over the course of five matches. But would it be enough? At this point, it does not look like it right now. Hernandez Gray out to Jamie Peralt. By one defender, the ball shimmies all the way to Genesis Perez. Plays it long, quickly. Rivera. To Brasino. Matarita can't make the turn. to Jada Collin. Collin accelerates into the box. She goes. Annabelle Chuku was right there. And you can see what is wearing on Costa Rica. For a player like Valentina Rivera, who's played this entire match in defense, Jocelyn Brasino, this entire match in defense. Jada Collin came in as a substitute. Annabelle Chukwu, another substitute. Around her defender, Chukwu, free! But can't finish off this match. And Costa Rica still has life. 110th minute. <laughs> Costa Rica. Three goals here in this match more than their entire total in the series history versus Canada. But right now, not enough. Racino booms it in. Ball is free for a moment. Rivera can't let one rip. And now, Kayla Briggs on the counter. Peralt racing down the end. Jordi, no. Denied by Genesis Perez. Kayla Briggs tracks it down again for Canada. Alex to work back. Now to Chukwu. Around her first defender. And Chukwu. Catches this one a little low and elevates it. Again, 
again, Keishlin Mena, another player that started this match. Hands on her knees. Ball is won. Down in the box. And the Canadian side very unhappy with that collision. Now Veronica Matarita finds energy from somewhere, but she's doubled. Racino still on the ball for Costa Rica. It cannot navigate through traffic. Rivera lets it rip. Leaves it for Jordi. Now to Peralt, who's free? Jamie Peralt, stonewalled again by Genesis Perez. And you can tell some of these Costa Rican players are gassed. What would you expect of 90 minutes plus? And now Bersino conversing with Odette Hamilton, our referee. And a chance for both teams to hydrate here in this Extra time session, hydration, some citrus, all the necessary things to keep your body in top performing shape. And these young ladies have given it their all here in this match with what's on the line. Annabelle Chukwu, who you see right there, has the game winning goal as it stands right now. She scored the go-ahead in our first extra time session in the 101st minutes off a perfect pass from Ella Ote. And what a bookend would it be for Ella Ote to score the first goal of the match, to give Canada their initial lead, and then play the final ball in, which potentially could send your team to the World Cup. Still five minutes plus stoppage time. in between that storybook ending for Canada. Chukwu. And now some pushing and shoving. And Florian Jordi trying to protect her teammate. Here it is, the foul. Going on Valentina Rivera. And Canada trying to see this match out now. How we arrived here. Mentioned Ella Ote's first goal. Made it one nothing. Ball out for a throw in here for Canada. Then Marion Solano scored to tie things up, making it 1-1. Following that, Florian Jordi with the goal for Canada. Made it 2-1. But 
big time shots. Shaka Scott with the penalty and Jocelyn Brasino with the late goal. Made it 3-2 at the half. Now, Canada in the second half scored off an Olivia Smith goal. Now, an extra time, one goal was scored by Annabelle Chukwu. Patricia Aguilar eyeing things for Costa Rica. Does her team have anything left here in our second extra time session? Needing a goal to send this to penalties. Chukwu continues to box out her defender. As the ball is sent forward, Keishlin Mena back to Genesis Perez. Briggs, Chukwu, Toujours D, in no rush, no hurry, and Costa Rica earns the throw in. As that ball is boomed out by Jocelyn Brasino, Canada was on the wrong end of heartbreak in the semifinal match. Taking on Mexico, Kayla Briggs scored a goal in the 65th minute. But then Mexico scored in the 77th and in the 90th plus two to take a 2-1 lead and punch their ticket to the World Cup. And they'll play the United States in the final after this match. Canada thought they would have a double take with that heartbreak. After going up twice in this match, Costa Rica went ahead at the half. But Canada would not have their dreams of a World Cup go to the wayside. Excellence in the second half on set piece opportunities and within the run of play, opportunity after opportunity was there. And finally, Kayla Briggs found Olivia Smith for the goal. That tied things up and took us into extra time. Annabelle Chukwu, who just was on the wrong end of that foul. Annabelle Chukwu, who had opportunity after opportunity since she came on as a substitute, finally found her breakthrough in the 110th minute. And that is the difference right now. Chukwu makes the turn, still not going for goal. And Costa Rica earns the late throw in. A minimum of three minutes added on to this match here in extra time. Chukwu steps into the box, goes for goal, and the brace makes this something to see for Canada. The brace makes things absolute. Annabelle Chukwu doubles her scoring total in this match and makes it 
Costa Rica put up an excellent fight throughout this match. Florian Jordi on it for Canada. Pumps it out. But for Annabelle Chukwu, what a afternoon. Coming on as a substitute, scoring the game-winning goal and putting in the insurance and sending her team to the World Cup. Chukwu, who moved to Canada when she was nine years old, started with Ottawa South United, and she just became a part of the youth program last year. She had just two goals coming into the tournament, and now has two goals here in this match, both of which of high importance. Ball forward, Jada Collin clears it away. A throw in coming for Costa Rica. Into the box, the ball goes. Matarita earns her team a corner. It might be a little too late with the difference now, two goals. Luciana Gonzalez to take the corner. She won't have a chance. Canada wins this third place match, five to three, and is off to the World Cup. Agony for Costa Rica, but jubilation for Canada. Down at the half, down in the 75th minute, but not down and out. And here's how things went down here in our third place match. Canada taking the early lead. You thought that Rosa Malouf would get her first goal of the tournament, but Ella Ote gets hers. Scoring things for Canada, making it one nothing. 